Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Bakuri Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God update video. Got some pretty worthy ones of note today. The invulnerability for entering a dungeon and teleporting in the realm has been increased to three seconds, which is actually quite a hefty amount. This was done to combat some of the player killing that was going on. There are some chat improvements, launcher improvements, server refresh button working as intended, stability and performance improvements. It's kind of vague stuff, but good all the same. There's also a new information marker about connection quality, on the left of the minimap. Then we have a larger handful of fixes and improvements, such as a short lore description to all dungeon keys to match the style of more recent dungeons. They shortened the name of the Ancient Spell Pierce to just Ancient Spell. Coral Venom Trap has pink particles. They fixed the Quiver of Thunder's description. Haunted Armors in Oryx's Castle can no longer be dragged indefinitely. Hermit Tentacles can also no longer be dragged away from their set piece, which I totally understand why they did that, but part of me did kind of like it because it was one of those weird video game rules. It doesn't make much sense, but it's there because of coding, but I still understand why it was changed. The Beach Zone, Candyland, and Parasite Chambers are now guaranteed drops from their respective locations. Slowly but surely, we're removing some of the unnecessary RNG. Especially in the case of the Beach Zone, it's so rare already, you might as well make it guaranteed. I appreciate that. The Mega Moth in all three of its stages are now immune to stasis, and something I've had an issue with for a very long time, the quiet shots of Septavius, you know, those little mosquitoes that fly around, are now much larger to improve visibility. Next, we have some new S T drop locations. The new Slurp Wizard set now has pieces dropping from Thessal, Royal Nidarian, Fishman Warrior, and the Gold Nidarian. Makes sense, since they're still the only two underwater dungeons we have. The Daring Discoverer Samurai set has pieces dropping from Cyclops God, Oasis Giant, Phoenix Reborn, and the Death Mage. Pretty cool to see those older, lower-level enemies getting some attention. Now they actually have some worthwhile loot. Might encourage more people to clear the realms. And lastly, the Court Magician Sorcerer ST set. The Wand dropping from all four minions in the Puppet Master Master's Encore fight, the scepter from the Encore boss himself, robe from the regular Puppet Master, and the hat from the Oryx Puppet. The Keeper event has been extended until July 22nd, and the token Dakota quest has also been extended to the same date. And finally, some miscellaneous changes like alterations to the feed power of the new Ambrosias, and two new pieces of music for the Rameg Exalt OST, that being Oryx 2 and Oryx 3. Always nice to see progress on the soundtrack, that thing is going to be huge when it's complete. But that is all for today, ladies and gentlemen, pretty solid update all around around. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright, see ya.